Hi everybody, welcome to this week's art studio vlog. I started off this week on like Saturday and Sunday, so kind of working on stuff over the like technical weekend. I was working on some drawings for the Doggest monthly challenge. I am not really into those like draw one thing every day kind of challenges. That seems really intimidating to me. I've never been able to get fully into Inktober and stuff like that. Um, I just find it really, really hard to do. So with Doggist, it was something that I really wanted to still participate in because I love drawing dogs and I thought that this would be a really fun way for me to get to draw some different breeds that I haven't really seen before or I'm not familiar with and it was really fun. So I did pretty much all the drawings for the entire month in about three or four days. So these are just a couple time lapses of me working on a handful of dogs and I had a lot of fun with it. I'd like to kind of put them together into like one big poster or something like that maybe. I don't know. I probably won't really do much with the drawings but it was a really nice exercise and something kind of just fun and relaxing to do and get to draw cute dogs. As you know, I am a big dog fan. I do have three cats, but I think about my future dog pretty much all the time. I recently got a new job working at a like pet food store and they also have like dog grooming there. So I get to see a lot more dogs in my life now. So that's really exciting for me. I love dog watching and meeting all these different kinds of dogs. I've really grown to like a lot of different breeds of dogs that I hadn't really liked before or known too much about before. So that's been really fun. So drawing these for Doggist was kind of in line with all the dogs I've been seeing lately and really liking that. Monday, I did a lot of stuff for my Etsy shop and I usually spend quite a bit of time on my Etsy shop. That's usually the bulk of what I'm doing during the week when I'm considering my time for like working on art. So here I was cutting out some art prints and then cutting out some um, other prints and business cards for my K-pop shop. So I do have a separate Etsy. I've talked about it a couple times but you still might not know or maybe this is one of your first videos you're watching of mine. K-pop is one of my like my main hobby and I just love it and I have a lot of fun with it and I do like fan art and I make decals and stuff and I don't really worry about the business aspect of that. I'm not really doing it to make money. I just truly do it because it's fun. So that's kind of a nice low stress project for me to have and I have a lot of fun running the shop and sending people little little stickers and notes and pictures of their of their faves. So that's a lot of fun for me. Then I'm just moving on to packing up my orders and getting them ready to ship. I like to give a handwritten note to every order just to make it feel a little more personal. And then they have a business card with all my information on it too if they um, ordered but maybe found me through Etsy or something so they don't know about my artwork. Then I'm printing out and cutting out some new sticker sheets and some prints. This is the Love Core print and sticker set uh, for my Etsy shop and I had this up before but I just had like paper stickers but I don't really like that type of sticker paper so I really like this translucent sticker paper so I figured I would kind of redo it and re-list it. Then I just worked on editing some new pictures and kind of updating some listings. I like changed some of the background pictures just to make them look a little fresher and a little bit better quality. Then I figured out a couple days ago that I was completely out of business cards and like I said before I write a note on every like business card to put in with Etsy orders and so I was like well I guess it's time for me to make a new one. Um, I wasn't crazy about the old business card I had so I knew I didn't want to reorder that one so I figured it was time to think up something and come up with a new business card concept. And I came up with this like letter kind of look. You could see my sketches at the beginning. I wanted something kind of whimsical or in a shape or it to look like something else. So I thought maybe like a soda can or like a bag of candy or something, but I ended up doing this kind of letter envelope 
looking card and I really like it. I had to do yellow because I feel like that's the color that represents like my brand the most. I don't know. I feel like people associate it with my art. Went with a bright yellow envelope and then I made these little like stamps and I wanted to do one that was a raccoon because they're my favorite and I draw them all the time so I felt like there had to be a raccoon stamp and then I did a, like a floral stamp and I used pansies because they're the flower that I'm loving drawing right now. They're just my current favorite so came up with that and I am overall very happy with it. I was really excited to order these and then they came in the mail really quick. You'll see them even later in the vlog. Tuesday was actually kind of a rough day and I pretty much just spent the morning watching YouTube videos and like doing nothing and just feeling like crap. So <laughs> later in the day I did end up working a little bit on uh, a zine project I'm working on which I'll talk a little bit more about here. Hello everybody. It is Friday today so kind of the end of my week? I don't know. I might work um, over the weekend on some stuff. I just wanted to vlog today because I got in my new business cards and I got in some new postcards that I'm going to be listing in my Etsy shop. Hopefully some stickers will come in the mail today too. I got some from Sticker App and I actually had them redo them because I wasn't super happy. So Hopefully those will be in the mail today. I had kind of hoped I could already get those up in my Etsy. Did a lot of work on Etsy stuff this week, so this week I've just been kind of like struggling. <laughs> I don't know, I'm just in kind of one of those lulls where I'm not feeling super inspired by a, by a lot of stuff and I don't know, I just feel like I need a break or like a reset or something. Basically, I had to delete Instagram earlier in this week because I was just really sick of using it. And I feel like with the new update, the new like algorithm or whatever is terrible. <laughs> it's really bad, especially for artists. I feel like I don't see any of the creators that I actually want to see anymore and that there's just a lot more ads. You can just really feel that grip that Facebook has by owning it, that it just, it feels like Facebook now. And there's a reason that I left Facebook and I'm starting to feel like that's the reason why I'm gonna leave Instagram. And I don't know, I don't want to really leave because it is my biggest following on social media. So that makes me a little nervous <laughs> that that's the place where most people see my work. I mean, I really like using Twitter, but um, my, I guess my presence on Twitter hasn't really picked up yet because I did just recently start kind of an art account on Twitter, so not a lot of people follow it yet. So I don't know, it's just, it's a struggle and I don't really know what to do and I'm sick of playing the games that Instagram makes you play to try to figure out what people actually want to see, how to get your posts seen, how often to post, how much to post on your story, to use IGTV. There's way too many features and I think a lot of people are missing it's like basic chronological order. Here's what people are posting. You can post a video or pictures or whatever. It's way too much and it's really stressing me out. I've just needed a little break from that. I mean, I'll still probably log on to post stuff about this video and stuff for my Etsy, but for the most part, I think I just need to step away from it for a bit. And yeah, I just need to like take a step back, I think. I've been just kind of burned out. And when you're burned out, it's hard to really see the point of making anything. I don't know if any of this will make any sense. Hopefully it does, but just kind of speaking in my, uh, my opinions. You would have seen a clip of it in the, whatever the last day was that I was working on stuff. I am working on a new like zine or art book. I thought of it actually last year. I think it's almost been a year now. Wow. So after... Uh, My Chemical Romance announced their reunion. I wanted to start working on um, an art scene with kind of all of my old fan art that I did. And I had like drafted up kind of a rough idea of what I wanted to do and then ended up just kind of scrapping it because I felt like I didn't care enough about the project and it wasn't really going the way I wanted to. And kind of with this week's burnout, I guess, I kind of went back to it and I looked at what I had written and what I wanted to say and 
kind of reformatted it and I think I'm gonna move forward with that project and still make it. I think people will still care enough about it. One of my biggest fears is that I'll put all this work into it and I'll put all this money into making this and then like my four friends will buy it and they'll be like this is really cool but I will have put all that time and effort and money into it and might not really get any not recognition it's not about recognition but it's about people seeing my work and caring about it so I don't know I was just kind of afraid that not really many people would care about it and I'm not big on social media or anything so I don't know how many people will see it but hopefully it would still be something that would be interesting and I still really want to make it so um, if it ends up completely flopping then that's that and I won't do projects like that again but maybe it'll go well um, that zine that I made a couple years ago for Frank's album went really great and I really had a lot of fun working on that and felt really proud of it. I want to try at least so please hold me accountable for that and be like hey you still working on that zine or whatever just make sure I finish it. I really just want to get it made and put out there in the world and have people see it because I still am excited about it and I kind of started doing some like layout stuff and I have an idea that I want it to be more of like a collage style book. Not really collage, but really to test my like layout skills, I guess, and just do something kind of creative and fun with that. So I've been looking at packaging a lot on Pinterest lately, so I've been like really inspired to like design some cool packaging. So I think I'm even more excited about that than the actual like product itself. but. Whatever gets me to get it done is great. So that's kind of what I'm working on and I'll probably work on that more today. I have a couple of orders to go out today, so I'm gonna get those packed up and sent out. That was kind of a lot of talking, but there wasn't really much other stuff I needed to include in this video. I just wanted to do sort of like a vlog for this week to, I don't know, it makes me feel more productive to be filming what I'm doing and look back and be like, oh, I actually did do a lot of stuff. I wasn't just sitting around doing nothing and like feeling bad. So I did get my business cards in the mail and I'm super excited. I think they came out really cute. Those are my new cards. They turned out pretty much just how I expected them to, so I'm quite happy with them. The backs are blank, so I can use these as note cards for Etsy orders to like write thank yous on the back. Very excited. And then I also got some postcards too, which I'm going to open up and list on Etsy. These are the postcards I had printed. The little heart cows that I had in my sketchbook. People seem to really like them, so I thought a postcard would be cute. I'm going to list those today. Super cute. I love them. I really need a better place to put my camera, but this is just gonna have to do for now. This is just gonna have to work. Pulling up my orders on my computer. This is like my little Etsy workstation. So I have six orders to go out today. So here are the stickers that I got that I need to get reprinted. So apparently I thought the whole thing was gonna be mirror and apparently if you upload it with a white background, they just make the parts that are in white mirror-y, so only some of it is mirror, so I don't know if I'm gonna like give these away with orders or if I'm gonna save them for something. I haven't decided yet, but hopefully the new ones that are printed correctly will come in today. And then I have like a bunch of old postcard prints that I like pulled out of my storage area that I figure I just start throwing in orders because I've listed them for sale before and nobody buys them, so I'll just start giving them away as freebies so I don't have to have them spinning around. I have a lot of stuff like that that I've ordered and like it either didn't work out or I don't sell any of it or like I sell like 10 of them and then like I don't sell anymore so I just take the whole listing down. I'm a master of Etsy clearly. <laughs> I just listed these again the little like love core print and sticker sets except I printed the stickers on kind of a transparent sticker sheet. They're those they're the matte transparent stickers that I've been using, which I really, really love. I should order more of that paper because the stickers just come out really nice and it actually works with my Cricut. And I could probably like film a whole rant video about how much I hate the Cricut software. If anybody actually wants to see me just like go off on Cricut, let me know because I have a lot of like internalized rage for that company and for that software. It is 
terrible. This order is going out to a friend, so I'm going to throw one of these Misfit stickers in there. Hopefully they'll like it. After I shipped my orders, I started kind of cleaning up my general work area. I found these drawer things in the trash at my apartment complex, and it was actually exactly what I needed for my Etsy work area. So my partner is using my pink desk right now, which had all of this stuff in it, but now that they're here, I can't really use it. So I got these drawers and I just like reorganized all my stuff. And now I just have like a little more elbow room for doing things. I kind of finished up by packing up a bunch of stickers. So just like getting them packaged into their rightful places and doing some more organizing and then editing this video. And that is it for this vlog. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, make sure to say hi in the comments and then make sure to check out my Etsy shop because as you saw, I was working hard on getting some new stuff uh, posted up there. So you can check that out and I will see you guys next time.